Hey, I'm Lisa Bronner, and today we're going green with a soap spray to eliminate garden pests. I'm often asked what's one use for the versatile Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap that surprises people. This is it. The Castile Soap makes an effective spray for eliminating garden pests, such as aphids, whiteflies, mealybugs, spider mites. This is called an insecticidal soap. This soap is made with organic oils and is designed for the body. So using it on plants, even edible plants, is safe for people, pets, and other wildlife. It also doesn't harm beneficial insects like bees, ladybugs, or praying mantises, and it readily biodegrades. To make this spray, you'll need a spray bottle, water, Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, and peppermint essential oil. If your water is particularly hard, use filtered or distilled water so the minerals don't build up on your plants. And any of the scents of Castile soap will work to eliminate bugs, but just in case the soap flavors your harvest, you might want to consider the peppermint, citrus, or unscented. I'm going to go with the peppermint. You'll use a quart of water for one tablespoon of Castile soap, or for my half quart bottle, I'm going to use half a tablespoon of Castile soap. To deter future pests, add 20 drops of peppermint essential oil per quart, or 10 drops to my half quart solution. Other natural deterrents are garlic powder, ground cinnamon, or cayenne pepper. Add a quarter teaspoon per quart of water. To remove the pests, the spray needs to contact them while wet. Once the spray dries, it has little effect. Apply this in the cool of the day so that it does not evaporate immediately. Coat the leaves thoroughly, keeping in mind that bugs like to hide on the underside of the leaves. For severe infestations, apply the spray both morning and evening until things are under control. The best defense against garden pests is prevention. This starts with strong plants and healthy soil. Companion planting utilizes certain plants such as marigolds, basil, or alyssum to ward off certain pests. Stake your plants off the ground to make them harder to access and increase air circulation, which reduces rot. Bees also can get to the flowers more easily and increase your harvest. Plant bright aromatic flowers to attract beneficial insects that eat the pests. We can hardly blame the pests for wanting our produce. These gorgeous edibles are yummy to them too. I'd love to hear about more remedies you have for preventing and treating garden pests naturally. Thanks for joining me to learn how to spray for garden pests with Dr. Bronner's. I'll see you the next time we go green.